Well, now she's shaping the education system. One of America's most esteemed universities, Harvard, is offering lectures dedicated to learning about the superstar. And I'm delighted to say we're joined now by English professor Stephanie Burke, creator of the course, who's alongside one of her students, Mary Pankowski. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us because it's the early hours where you are. Where are you in the world at the moment? I am, I am right outside Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, I am in our hometown of Belmont. Oh, lovely part of the world. Mary, Mary are you on campus? <laughs> yes, I am. Mary there? So Mary's your Don't student. Don't tell your professor anything, Mary. I learned to tell them nothing. Don't tell them where you are and oh, what no. you're doing. Tell them nothing. <laughs> uh, for Stephanie, I mean, I've got to ask, Harvard University, renowned, you know, global, renowned university, how did a Taylor Swift course come around? Oh, how did it happen? Yeah. Well, songwriting, of course, is one of the art forms that use words. Uh, it uses words along with other things, which is music, just as playwriting uses words along with people moving about on stage and costumes and sets. And uh, that means it makes sense to study songwriting in an English department. And I've wanted to organize a course around a major songwriter for quite a while, but there hasn't been one who's got a substantial body of work I really wanted to cover, who's popular enough for it to be a good use of my time and Harvard's time to teach them. You know, I could organize a course around, let's say Amelia Fletcher, who's a wonderful songwriter, who's got, uh, you know, a 25 year career and is still performing. Uh, maybe someday I'll do that, but she would have to get a bit more popular for that to make sense as a term long uh, lecture series or course offering. And Taylor happens to be rather popular. Students want to take this course. And uh, so I asked my chair if I could do it when I realized that made sense. And of course she said, yes. Nice. And that's how it came about. Now, why has it come about? Well, it turns out that not only is Taylor a songwriter whose construction and verbal gifts and composition and history are worth studying. Um, but Stephanie, you, you say about easily. her verbal gifts. What is it about Taylor Swift's lyrics that just make her the, the cream of the crop when it comes to songwriting? Well, she's got a terrific ear, of course. I was thinking about her last release, uh, You're Losing Me, which you've probably heard, uh, which is compositionally fascinating. It's got that heartbeat that comes in at the beginning right. that's a little bit off compared to the rhythm of the rest of the song that's quite unusual in pop music. But there's also just half rhymes all over the place uh, and repetition that works quite well. Are you losing me? Are you choosing me? Um, and there's other songs. I think about Nothing New, what? one of the vault tracks from Red, now that we're into the course for quite a bit, uh, where, uh, what is it? Uh, Stephanie, do you know what I like about her? She's a great storyteller, yeah. and she tells her story yes, from the we're, heart. We're and Mary, here. I guess, it's... when I was in college, like many, many moons ago, we used to study like Bob Dylan and stuff, yeah. because these people are poets. Oh, yeah. uh, Mary, talk to us about the course and what you get from, from studying Taylor and, uh, and all her music and her lyrics, and just her cultural phenomena itself. Yeah, no, it's been amazing. Stephanie has been, Professor Burr has been doing an amazing job. Um, we've been going through an album each week. So, so far we've gone through Taylor's debut album and Fearless and Speak Now, and we're coming up on Red. And it's just been really great to have a class of Swifties learn about, you know, Taylor's genius songs and music and also connect it to some pretty amazing authors from the past. So it's been amazing so far. How's it gonna help with your degree, Mary? <laughs> um, I'm going to write really good papers because it is an English class. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Well, yeah, it is an English class. And Mary, what does a, a typical Swifty class look like? So it's a big class. Professor Burt was amazing in making it a no limit class. So no one had to be left out. So you go in, you see a ton of other Swifties. Um, one of the teaching fellows is usually playing a Taylor Swift song on the piano. When you walk in, there is a photo of Taylor Swift on the board, and everyone's just super excited about what we're going to learn about that day. And Professor Burt's lectures are always super energized, and everyone really loves them and is super engaged.
Do you know, one of the things I love about Taylor Swift is she's just so smart. The power she gives, particularly other girls out there, I know my own daughters absolutely love her. What the other side of that is, I don't know if people are threatened by her, but the hate out there for Taylor Swift. And I don't really? like going on about the fact I was at the Super Bowl in the weekend. But I mentioned Taylor Swift a few times in the crowd. Oh, my word. No Why way. are you talking about her at an NFL sh show? Well... She increased the audiences of young women from 29 to 45 by 27% by her presence at Kansas City Chiefs games. That's the power of Taylor Swift. Why the hate? Yeah, Is that for me or for Mary? Well, both of you. Stephanie, you go first. I mean, why the hate sexism? Uh, I, I want to change the topic a bit just so that ITV's morning viewers come away with the right impression. This is a class organized around Taylor and her songs and her songwriting. We don't study nothing but her. It is a class that connects her to Willa Cather, to Alexander Pope, to other kinds of literary creators. And it is a class that, if it works, is going to unlock a whole bunch of literature that I also love that is maybe less popular right now, but that I very much want to preserve by connecting the past to the present. And that is another thing the course is designed to do. So we are focused on Taylor because she's great. It sounds like such a great course. Like yeah. it, it, Stephanie, it really do you, does. Do you think like you've paved course. the way for a more up-to-date courses now? Or up-to-date modules? I mean, my favorite thing to do with these modules is to connect the past to the present. Yeah. Uh, I intend to continue to teach other courses where there's very contemporary work and then other work that I really want to help people get into and read. Uh, but Taylor is special. Mary, a quick message to all those people out there who get a bit narky about Taylor. How are you going to turn them into Swifties? What are you going to say to them this morning? I'd say Taylor is a brilliant songwriter, but she's also known for being kind, generous, and down to earth. And she's an amazing role model for young girls. Aww. So everyone should try listening to her music. She has a lot of different stuff. Something for everyone. Thank I you, Mary. Agree. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Thank Getting you. up in the early hours to join us. You're fantastic. Thank you so much.